problem with this mission is only being able to take four. And believe me, there are quite a lot of enemies here, so I don't understand why the game did that, but okay, we'll roll with it. I had looked at that incorrectly, and I guess I thought the Panther Warrior team was going to come to us. So, if you didn't read that all correct, we have to actually free every base here. We can't just defeat Ishizu, which is kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. Uh, do I start with... What do I start with here? This would work well against Dragon Seeker, but it's better to get a full power-up, I guess. Yeah, let's just do the full power-up. They don't have items, right? No, I'm just gonna focus on taking out Dragon Seeker because of its attack stat. Even then, it's not that astronomical of a difference, but, you know. There's no point in making things more difficult. How you manage to dodge a tidal wave, I'll never know, but whatever. Power up once again. Not even really that amazing of an increase. It helps, absolutely. The only issue is, I guess it would work better if we divvied up the team more and we had monsters with more regular attacks. Like, if I buffed up Dragon Zombie right now, oh, buddy, buddy. Starting to think maybe that's what I should do for the final fights. Because if I'm correct in what I'm thinking right now, then we can actually get through them with little issue. It's kind of funny, because I thought they would break us. I mean, we didn't lose any monsters the last two chapters, and as long as I play this effectively, we won't lose any here, either. I'm slightly worried about the Serpent Night Dragon that's approaching from across the lake, but that's not really an issue, because by the time it gets here, the anti-air scan will be ready. Now I gotta think if this is the team I want to de defeat the Panther Warrior team. Because Panther Warrior's got a lot of attacks. I don't really know what the best choice would be. They don't have any items. Kristen, stay here for this. I guess mine can go here. There's nobody here, which is odd. Ah, oh, we're leaving it all up to luck. I'm not saying I don't have faith in the plan, but things can very easily go wrong. Jarek is a Shizu's team. I shouldn't do that now. Thank goodness they don't have cannons. Yeah, let's do that. Ishizu's team is going to be the real threat. Just 
see if I can reduce their attacks enough that we don't have any issue. Okay, timing on that ended up being pretty good, because now they'll both approach each other at basically the same instance. I'm just lucky we got rid of Panther Warrior before any of my monsters went down. That was the biggest concern. I can probably steal the attacks from Garuzis again, but I don't think that's necessary now. I don't think anything. The biggest threat is what do I use to take out Ishizu and Odeon, because that's going to require a good bit of effort. Damn, 1100 damage. That was pretty damn good. Okay, yeah, I guess I was right about sticking with these items.
Wow, that was actually kind of pathetic damage for that. I was expecting it to be better. I'm on the fence now. I guess, yeah, do this now. And then if something goes wrong, I can. I still have the red medicine. But it's clear that Teya's monsters do not really have the attack strength I want them to have. I guess if there's one benefit to having to claim everything, you can try to build more shops. That's risky, though, because like you saw, we're not really gaining any gold for finishing these missions lately. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, well, I get a second chance now. This could finish. So at a glance, it looks like we're halfway done, right? Unfortunately, it's not quite that simple. They don't have any items, but as you can tell, a resurrection ability is a pretty big deal. Odeon doesn't have any items. Oh, he might actually be pretty easy to take down then. Which one's Odeon in? Yeah, you can actually take care of Odeon. I'm not worried about him now. Gonna have to trust that Joey can beat a Shizu. Maybe if Joey and Taya work together, they can beat a Shizu reliably. I guess Mai will be there too by the time that's all said and done. Don't have any more blue medicines, but I'll prioritize what I do have. Once again, this is just going to be a simple war of attrition. Take out Embodiment of Apophis. And then, if the damage starts getting severe, I'll fuse, but that probably won't be an issue. They're just guarding. That's actually making things way easier. I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe this isn't going to be as bad as I thought. Kishizu is going to be the biggest hurdle by a country mile, but if I win, I win. Shoot. Thought I could break that. You don't have attacks now. What? Wait. Okay, I was thinking of a different move then. Don't really understand the point of that, but okay. AI being dumb only benefits me.
it's actually kind of pathetic how easy it is to just whittle these things down and blitz some of the attacks like they're nothing. I'm just gonna let this fight peter out. I don't need to waste a polymerization here. That would be pretty terrible planning, honestly. Though it does kinda suck that uh, regeneration ability happened for so much of the fight, even after this fool was out of turns. Otherwise, I would have finished it in one cycle. Yeah, that figures. Start a new fight, instantly win with the critical. Go figure. Why would it be anything else? Okay, so what we want to do now is immediately blitz a Shizu, and I think I'm actually just going to risk it with Mai's team. The main reason being is that... Wait, that's the wrong one. Whoopsie. Uh, I was not paying attention. Okay, whatever. Yeah, if we risk everything with Mai's team, I mean, there's a very realistic chance something will go wrong, but at the same time, I'm not that concerned, because again, we still have the red medicines. Well, two of them. We still have two polymerizations. We have a realistic chance of surviving long enough to beat the Mystical Elf. So I want to set my team down here just a little bit so that they have enough time to get through and we can do a combined attack. I want Joey's team to get there before Taya's team does. Just in case. Alright. Guess I didn't think he'd be there that fast. Whatever, we're fine. So, they're gonna fuse, but that's all they've got. I find it funny they have level 2 magic, but they just don't even give them magic abilities. I don't know, I'm not opposed to the dragons having access to magic, it's just, why give it to them if they're not gonna use it in the campaign, you know? Connects all right, we might actually be in great standing. Okay, see, now I'm a little bit concerned. What damage is this guy going to do? Wait a minute, I have a dragon capture jar. What the hell am I doing? I am a moron. Okay, I'm going to finish off the regular thunder dragon first. That way if things start going south, I can just immediately retreat. None of us have machines, or none of us are machines, so that's good. I don't think the moth is strong enough to finish the dragon, but I guess we'll try anyway. Depends on what the turn order is going to be. I think that with Monster Tamer having that equip spell, we're actually okay. Oh, okay, we're good. We are golden. We are solid. We are moving at lightning speed. 
And here I was thinking this team was going to be weak. So far I get one hit. Maybe two. Or just waste the turn by waiting. That's pathetic, honestly. Okay, moment of truth. I'm very afraid just because of the sheer power level of her monsters. This is going to be bad. Let's see what we're up against, though. Again, they don't have items, which is good. But this will inflict heavy damage on us. This is bad only if we're running dark monsters, which thankfully we aren't. My biggest concern is Magician of Faith. If I can take out the Magician of Faith, we'll be okay. first, otherwise she's just going to revive one of the others. It sucks I have to leave Orion alive that long, but I don't have an option here. Okay, our attack is reduced, but that was still enough. The damage wasn't quite as severe as I thought it would be, so I think I can actually have my team completely clean up here if I just... Shit. We are fusing now, we are fusing now, we are fusing now. I am not risking any nonsense. I want to keep whittling them down before this becomes a problem. likely to waste a special attack when there's only two of us, which is the biggest, biggest thing. Cooperate, cooperate. Oh, shit. Wait, this is good, actually. You've only got one more. Okay, you guard because you've got good defense, and you heal yourself. worth it to use a red medicine on a fusion. I gotta be honest, I think it might be in this scenario, just so I can keep attacking with it without any fear of a critical. Okay, yeah, that could have broken my guard, so if the two of them attacked together, that actually would have been pretty bad. I don't think we have anything to worry about now. Like, 
fighting. This is an open and shut case. And here I was thinking that I was screwed because I lost so many powerful monsters. This might have been enough to carry me to the end. I guess I shouldn't officially call this until that's that's done. And yeah, we don't defeat Ishizu here. Wow, that was actually pretty close point-wise. Hmm. We don't defeat Ishizu here, but eh, it's close enough. Yes. Should I let Joey's team finish this off? I don't know. I think I'll just give it to Mai's team, because in the off chance that they get another attack move out of this, yeah, there's no reason not to. Everyone's team right now is capable, so just keep it going. Oh shit, I just realized I forgot they didn't heal. Damn it. Oh, is this enough? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I almost just choked that at the one-yard line. Jesus. Uh, whew, okay. That minor bit of poor planning aside, we are okay now, believe it or not. Wait, how did we just get Mystical Beast Circuit? Alright, whatever. Yeah, the next mission is going to be the true challenge. I'm very afraid. I'm not going to lie to you all. But I mean, it's not so bad. Well, we can't bring in you, but we can bring in him. And I think I have a plan that's going to hold this all together. So, I will see you all for the next session, the next stream, 